And now that you know your perfect shade, you can do all these fun little tricks as well. Wow, David. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm David, and I'm joined today by my beautiful co-worker and friend, Natasha. Hi. How are you, sweetheart? So well. I'm so happy she's with me today because we have been listening to you all and we heard you. We are bringing you a video on how to find the perfect match for a foundation when it comes to olive skin tones. And as you can see, Natasha's got olive skin and the perfect complexion of foundation and concealer on. So stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve that for yourself. Okay, so we have Natasha's skin clean and bare and looking gorgeous, by the way. I need this skincare Stop. routine. I'll tell you after. Yes, after we're going to have to have a private talk. But what we are talking about in this video is how to identify if you have olive skin tone and how to match your foundations for it. And this can be something that's very tricky. It's super tricky for me. I always pull to yellow to orange. So help me with your color theory. Absolutely. So really the key to identifying if you have olive skin tone is you will notice a green or grayish tint to the skin. That is really the clearest identifier that your skin tone runs in the olive family. Now the trick is a lot of people automatically think mm -hmm. I'm olive skin tone, therefore I must be warm. Mm -hmm. And what happens is exactly what Natalia Tasha just said, you will put a foundation on and it ends up looking very orange or just too, it's too yellow much. Too orange. Warm. Yeah, too warm. The truth is, if you have olive skin, you can be cool undertone, warm undertone, or neutral undertone. So really the key is identifying which those undertones you are. There's a lot of tips and tricks you can use to figure that out. We have some videos you can see on Sephora's YouTube channel. Just search like Sephora skin undertone mm -hmm. and you can check those things out to help you along the way. But in my personal opinion, good old fashioned swatching is the easiest way to do it. So we're gonna do that right now in Natasha. Okay, so we're gonna start off by using the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. Love this foundation. It's a great natural finish, so it just looks like skin. It's great for foundation swatching. So this one is a warm undertone. And in Sephora Collection, they label that with a Y for yellow. So we're gonna do here, because you always want your foundation to match your body as well as your face. We're gonna take this. Now we can see it's in the right sort of depth of tone for Natasha, meaning from light to dark. Okay, let's, let's see what else we've got. So now we're gonna move on to the next one. We don't want okay. We, want, we don't want okay. We want best. We want best for best skin ever, exactly. <laughs> let's get this guy. We're gonna apply this here. It's a little lighter, but it's neutral. It's N. And in all honesty, the undertone, as it starts to dry down, I think is gonna look really good on her. But let's try one more. Let's try a cool tone and see what happens. Now in Sephora collection, they label their cool tones with a P for pink, meaning a pink undertone or a cool undertone. And we can see, wow, we can see right off the bat, the, the P is not right. The pink is not right. We've got much more ashy gray tone here. This is starting to look very orange to me. And you can really see, this is where, if you look at Natasha's skin, a lot of people are gonna look at the olive mid-tone of her skin and go, she's warm undertone. This warm undertone is showing you just how orange that's going. And as you look at the neutral tone here, this one, it's starting to disappear into her skin. That's the key to say that even though overall you might think she's tan, she's actually olive and she's falling into that neutral category. And just to showcase that, if I tap this, I'm not gonna swipe it away. I'm just gonna blend the edge out a little bit so you don't see it as a swatch. It basically just melts into her skin. It blends right in. So we've clearly identified here just by looking, the neutral is a perfect match for Natasha. The warm, way too orange. The pea, way too pink and ashy. That's a clean, classic sign of olive-toned skin. 
Okay, so look, this is so easy. We figured out Natasha's undertone and the perfect foundation for her. And Sephora Collection has actually made it even easier for you by creating coordinating concealers. We love this. So there is now the best skin ever concealer and they have the color coordinating on the bottom. So we know now Natasha is the neutral shade that we used going with that. She's 28.5 in here and she's 28.5 in the concealer. And we're gonna apply them right now. Okay, Natasha, you ready to test this out and see if it works on your complexion? Let's do it. Okay, let's start a little application. I'm using the Sephora Collection Pro Foundation Brush number 47. Yep, it's my favorite. And I can already tell this is such a beautiful color on Natasha. It's working perfectly even in the center of the face as well as the outside of the face. And again, this is a neutral tone. It works perfectly with Natasha's beautiful olive skin. And that's also why I was talking about this foundation. If you look, the beauty of Natasha's glowing skin is showing right through even with the foundation. It does a great job of mimicking the skin and it's a great value too, to be honest. The price point is very lovely. I love this foundation for every day because it feels lightweight. Yeah. And it just looks like my skin. And you know me, I love just natural skin. So natural finish goes hand in hand. Mm-hmm. And it's like when you have really good skin, sometimes you just want something that mimics and blends right yes. into it. And then still gives you the ability to cover and get full coverage or really heavier coverage when you want to. Mm -hmm. You know, you get that freedom to choose how it works. And that's what I love about this foundation too. This looks absolutely stunning on you. And now we're gonna move into concealer. My favorite part. Favorite part. Then we've got our trusty Pro Concealer Brush number 71, one of my favorites, because it mimics a finger. It's got that little curvature to it. I absolutely love this brush. This one's really great because it just blends the concealer out by just tapping it. So it makes it so easy and smooth. I like a smooth concealer application. I mean, look at that, so beautiful. If you want, for a little fun, I'll show you all something I like to do. A little bit of concealer over the eyebrow. For this a, is for lift. For lift. <gasps> yep, yep, you know, you yes. know. And then, so we take this, and we just blend it. And it's great because we know the concealer matches the foundation, so you can really play with this when you buy the set together. They melt into each other and just work so lovely. And I'm gonna do one more little trick for you. So here is a Pro Shadow Brush. It's an eyeshadow brush number 13. It's got a nice sharp edge to it. You can use Sephora Collection shadow brushes with creams because they are synthetic brushes. And you can use them to clean up and sharpen over here and add a little brightness as well. And then it's a really nice way to just add a little fullness and a sharp cut to your lip, to your lip liners, your lipsticks. Okay, Natasha, you ready to say? Yes. There we go, tell me what you think. I think this is your best work yet oh, on my complexion. Thank you. It looks like the best skin I've ever had. And I love that it just looks seamless and natural. Yes. Like it's not too bright of an under eye. It's just, I don't have to go like this to make sure that everything yes. was like matching. It looks perfect. I know, I love it. This is so beautiful on you. I hope you've all enjoyed this because I think it really brought to light the fact that when you have olive skin tone and if you find that you're struggling to pick out that perfect foundation match, the thing is you might need to identify more than just the olive skin mm -hmm. tone. You might need to identify what undertone you are as well so that you get this perfect complexion like we have here with Natasha. And of course, if you are struggling and you can't figure it out at all, 
pop into your local Sephora. We have a really fantastic, innovative, free service you can get called the Color IQ. It takes a couple of minutes and we can tell you your undertone, what foundations in the store match perfectly to you, what concealers match perfectly to you. It can all be emailed to you right there. Mm -hmm. It's such a great service. I am a huge fan of Color IQ. I hope you've all enjoyed this as well. Definitely subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this from us every single week. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any other things you'd like to see from us on our channel. And until next time, we'll see you all soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.